Hi everyone, Julia here from the Curly Girl Creates, back with another video. Um, you know, I posted these little tea lights that I made. I decoupaged them and I posted them online and apparently everyone wants to know how I made them. Um, go figure. I, I thought it was something very simple, but um, I've been getting a lot of requests on how I made these adorable little tea light holders. So what you're going to need, all I do is I make them out of napkins. I buy the glasses from Dollar Tree, believe it or not. They're just regular uh, glass drinking glasses. And I spray paint them. Uh, well, these I spray, I spray painted a cream color. You spray paint the outside. Obviously, you don't want to spray paint the inside because I'm not sure if you put a real candle in there. I'm not sure how um, it will burn. So spray paint the outside to, to make it opaque. Uh, then I took a little bit of gold nail polish. Uh, you could probably use gold paint, uh, acrylic paint, um, but I used gold nail polish and I painted the, um, the rim. Um, and that just gives it an extra um, nice look. Uh, and then you're gonna decoupage it. So let's, uh, let's get started. Um, you need a napkin. Um, everyone's asking me where I buy my napkins. I really can't tell you where, uh, it's just during my travels when I'm in a store and I find a napkin that I really like, um, I buy it. Um, usually I'm in home goods or Tuesday morning or stores like that, um, where you can find really nice napkins. So today's project is going to have this cute, um, wagon with the Christmas tree on top. First, you want to separate the lining of your napkin because you want the napkin to be as thin and transparent as possible. So you're going to separate them. Just discard that. And now you're going to cut out your pattern. So up with a scissor, you're just going to go around and cut. It really doesn't matter. Um, you don't have to be exact because you're going to sprinkle glitter on it. So it's you're really not gonna see the edges of the pattern. Okay, so now that you have your pattern cut out, you wanna just put it on the glass to see where you want it to sit. So I want it to sit right there. Um, so I'm going to have to trim more of the top. Okay, I think I like that. So now you're gonna take your Mod Podge. I'm using uh, Sparkle Mod Podge, but you can use just regular Mod Podge. You're gonna take your Mod Podge and you wanna make sure it's mixed thoroughly. So just put a little stick in there, mix it up. Make sure that's all mixed up. Okay. And then I use a fan brush because I just like the way that that applicates. And you are going to put a layer of the Mod Podge on where you're going to stick your image. Okay, now you're going to take your image and you're going to stick it on. Okay, 
very carefully because you don't want too many wrinkles. And I'm gonna show you in a little while how to get rid of all of your wrinkles. Okay, so after it's on, you wanna take a piece of plastic wrap. Pull it tight over your image, really tight. Like that. And now you're going to flatten out all of the wrinkles. Get them all out. And be careful with your pressure because you don't want to rip the napkin. But see how I'm smoothing that all out? And like I said, it doesn't, uh, you don't have to get all the wrinkles out because you're going to put glitter over it. Uh, if you weren't putting the glitter over it, then you'd really have to be careful with the wrinkles. But uh, we're going to apply glitter, so the way I'm doing it is fine. Okay, so you're going to take this off. An important thing to mention is once you remove this plastic wrap, throw it away. Do not reuse it because you're just inviting trouble. Okay, so there you have your images on the glass. So now you're going to take another little bit and you're going to go over your image very lightly. Go over the image and be generous with the decoupage. The Mod Podge, sorry. You know, I used to do this as a kid, so it's a very old technique. Uh, that's why I'm surprised that it got so much uh, recognition. But then I'm, again, I'm thinking maybe it's a lot of the millennials that aren't really familiar with um, this old technique. Okay, once you have all your Mod Podge on there, now you are going to apply diamond dust and that's exactly what it is diamond dust by flora craft i got this on amazon but you can probably get it at any craft store and what it is is it's actually crushed glass so when you apply it you really have to be careful because you can get cut this is not a project for children um as you can see inside if you can see in there it's all little crushed pieces of glass that um, you can actually really get cut on. So be careful when you apply it. So I'm gonna take my tray here so that I can catch all the, the drops. And you're just gonna be generous and go all over. That's why you want a tray because you wanna catch everything that falls. Uh, this stuff is fairly expensive, so you don't want to be wasting any. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. And right now you can't see the image, but once it dries, it will dry clear, and you'll be able to see the image like this one here. See how pretty that is? See all of these images? They're very pretty, and that's how it dries. It dries very clear and very sparkly. Um, but if you touch it, it's very, it's, it is sharp. So um, be careful with it. Uh, another way to go is if you don't want to use the diamond dust, you can use just reg regular glitter, uh, and that's really safe to use. Um, and another thing I do is after it's all dry, I spray it with either sealer, acrylic sealer or hairspray uh, just to seal it so that these sparkles don't come off. Um, they haven't come off yet, but uh, I'm sure that once I put them on the table, uh, I'll probably see a little bit of sparkles everywhere. Anyway, that's, that's it. That's the whole technique. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can also follow me on, um, uh, on Instagram or like me on Facebook. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment. 
I'd be very happy to answer any questions you have. Okay, have a great evening. Good night.